In this screencast, I'm going to show you how to use Eclipse to open a Python console. You use a Python, whoops, and um, if you've, um, this is going to ask you about your workspace again. I get tired of listening to this thing, uh, ask me uh, where I want my workspace to be, so I check the box and say, use this as default, and don't ask me again. If you use different workspace folders, then you should feel free to, you know, not do that. But um, I'm, I'm using a workspace folder in my home directory, which is just fine with me. If you've executed Eclipse before, or I, I should say, this, this screencast assumes that you've executed Eclipse before and that you have set it up to use PyDev um, for development. So I won't have to do any perspective setup or uh, defining which interpreter to use. Um, so if, since I have done this before, this is already opening up in the PyDev or Python perspective, which is what I want. So to get a console, I want to go up here to Window, Show View, Console. And uh, that opens a new tab in this bottom pane down here. And a little line says, no consoles to display at this time. Now over here on the right, I get to pick what kind of console I want. So I click on this. I have several choices, one of which is called PyDev console. So I'll select that. Now it asks me another question. There are different types of Python to use. Um, I'm going to use the Python console. So you go ahead and click Python console and say OK. And the console window changes at the bottom and says, import sys print, yada, yada, yada. And then it says, user bin Python 2.7.1, blah, 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 um, based on Apple Inc. build 565. Your particular uh, console display, depending on what machine you have installed this on, might look a little bit different. But uh, basically, the functionality should be the same. So what you get to have here in this console is you've got direct access to the Python interpreter. So you can do things like type numbers, and it gives them back to you. You can type um, integer numbers without a decimal point, or you can type floating point numbers. And by default, it just uh, if you give it a number, it creates a number object and gives it back to you and then forgets all about it. You can even create numbers that are complex. So I'm typing a number 1.9 plus 3.4 J. J in Python is um, what in math you would call I. And it gives it right back to you and says, well, it's 1.9 plus 3.4 J for I. You can also do things like assign numbers to variable names. So I could say um, P equals 1.1415, and now it doesn't say anything, but if I type P again, it gives me back the contents of that object P, which is 3.14. Um, Python can do some rudimentary math. For example, 2 times 10 ordinarily equals 20. 3 divided by 2 equals 1. Um, yeah, so anyway, it's a good thing to note that Python is a computer programming language, and in the history of computer programming languages, the division symbol has various uses. Um, going back through history, the division symbol is often used for an integer divide. So if you're working with whole numbers, which computers natively do, then it's natural to say that, well, how many times does 2 go into 3? Just once. So the answer is 1. If you want to force it to give you a floating point answer, you have to make one of these numbers floating point, at least one. So 3.0 divided by 2.0 is 1.5. So these are just a few things you can do with the console. If you're uh, looking at the tutorial on my webpage, then there are a lot more things that you should be playing around with. And this is just a quick demo to get you started. Have fun.